Hey guys. Now, it's been a little bit since this tag originally came out, but I find myself in an in-between period between books, nothing to review, not really sure what else to do at the moment, so I'm gonna do the book sacrifice tag. It originated with Ariel the Set, and Les did this video like months ago, so um, I'm gonna do it now. So the preface of this tag is basically you're given four different scenarios and based on what happens in the scenarios you have to choose a book to sacrifice. So it's basically a way to discover what books you really don't like. There's been a zombie attack and the military has discovered that the only way to deal with the zombies is to throw and attack them with an overhyped book. So basically, I have to choose an overhyped book that everybody else loves and I didn't. And that book is 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher. This is one of the first books that I read getting into the booktube community. I had heard a lot about it. It has a very, uh, what I thought would be a very important message about teen suicide. And so I figured it would be well worth my while to give it a read. But after reading it and taking it all in, I realized that it really wasn't that great. I didn't like the way the story was presented, and I just felt that it fell short of having the power that everybody else says it had. Now, I did do a review of the book, so if you're interested in more of what I have to say, you can find it on the channel, but back to the tag. I've left the salon, and I have a smashing new haircut. And then, oh my god, there's a torrential downpour. What am I gonna do? I can't let my hair do get ruined. So, what sequel am I gonna use as an umbrella to protect myself? And that sequel is gonna have to be Insurgent by Veronica Roth. Now, before you freak out, it's not that I hate Insurgent. I don't think I've ever hated any sequel that I've read because I liked the first one enough that I knew I would enjoy the second one. However, Insurgent let me down a lot. I loved Divergent so much. It was one of my favorite books that I read in that previous year, and when Insurgent came out, I was expecting much more than what I got. The storyline just wasn't as driving, There was a, it was just too long, it should have been cut down by at least a third, and I think it would have really improved the flow of the book. It was just not what I wanted it to be. So I'm in a lecture and my English teacher is going on and on and on about how this classic changed the world and is so fantastic and I just get so angry that I just throw the classic right in their face. Which classic did I chuck? I chucked Walden by Henry David Thoreau. I did in fact read this book in class, more or less. We did a sort of uh, everybody reads certain chapters and then talks about it kind of thing, but basically we made our way through the book and I just found it completely pretentious and not worth my time at all. Henry David Thoreau wants to be self-reliant and he goes off in the woods to live by himself for a while. He like, has a cabin to sort of sustain himself. And this is in the 1800s, all right? You know, enjoying nature, getting away from the American civilization of the 1840s or so. But he only lives a mile from town and he goes in there all the time to get food and obviously he's interacting with people then. He's not being self-reliant if he's living out in the woods yet he's going into town to buy himself food. That book made me so angry because he was saying one thing and then doing another. He was preaching one thing and then doing something else. Ugh. So I'm hanging out in the library when BAM! Global warming explodes and the world outside becomes a frozen wasteland and I have to burn books to stay warm, god forbid. What book would I not feel so bad about burning? That would have to be Portrait of the Artist as a Young Man by James Joyce. I also had to read this book for school and it was the most annoying book I have ever read. When there's a discussion about a moo cow on the first page, that should be a hint that the book isn't that great. It just plodded along and James Joyce is one of those authors that everyone talks up. He writes classics, you have to read his books, but The Portrait of the Artist as a Young Man, which is about him as a young man, is not worth your time at all. I didn't enjoy a single second of reading that book, so I would definitely feel the least guilty about burning that book of all the other books that I have ever read. Because it's been so long since this tag was done, I'm not gonna tag anyone, but if you still haven't done this tag, it's really fun. It's fun to go through your books and figure out which ones you hate the most because obviously we usually love books being booktubers and all.
But if you don't make videos and you want to answer the questions down below, feel free. As always, our links are in the doobly-doo. We got our Twitter and our Goodreads and we got our book depository as well. So feel free to check those out if you feel so inclined. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you later.